leading local today in our top story, a historic number of statewide transgender bills are in the hands of our elected officials, many relating to bathrooms, pronouns, sports, and trans youth. Kara Brown shows us how these decisions are personally impacting people. North Dakotans are waiting to see if Governor Doug Burgum will give his stamp of approval on a package of transgender bills. He's already signed two transgender athlete bans and we have six more pieces of legislation to go. We've been hearing passionate testimony from both sides of the aisle, seeing lawmakers go back and forth at the state capitol. But how are North Dakotans feeling about these restrictions and how will this impact our neighbors? When you let biological males play female sports, the biological females are the ones who are like behind and like can't compete. This is Morgan Perrin, a former soccer player who supports Governor Doug Burgum's decision to pass transgender sport restrictions in K through 12 and college athletics. A common opinion among female athletes as she feels women's sports could become even more marginalized than they already are. But some who are more open to the idea say government restrictions are unconstitutional. I believe they should be able to participate in women's sports. Yeah. That's what they want to do. They, yeah. They're they, what they, they want to pursue. They should we don't do. we don't have the right to determine what they can do with, them, with themselves and what they want to do. We have no right to dictate what they should do. A bill prohibiting students from using a bathroom different from his or her biological sex is now back in the house for discussion. Many people I've talked to don't feel trans exclusive bathrooms would be dangerous or a threat to either party. They just feel it would be an uncomfortable situation. I would probably feel uncomfortable with that. Honestly. Yeah. For the girls to have some man who was answering to a woman to go into a, their bathroom makes them comfortable as well. But LGBTQ plus advocates say they expect to see a spike in trans suicide rates and mental health issues as restrictions are implemented. Uh, they stop talking and their grades tank. So besides the fact that they uh, are physically uncomfortable, bullied all the time, they don't even speak. A lot of them do attempt suicide, and this is something that uh, we will be very, we are concerned about. Trans youth health care, pronoun usage, and birth record amendments have all passed with veto-proof majorities. Now other trans-related bills sit on the governor's desk, waiting their fate. Kiar Brown, KX News. One of those bills on the governor's desk relates to gender reassignment surgery for minors which states a doctor who performs these type of surgeries to anyone under the age of 18 will be guilty of a Class B felony, punishable by up to 10 years in prison and a $20,000 fine.